Dear students, let's discuss the importance of product in project management. The product and the associated problem must be examined at the very beginning of the project. At a minimum, the scope of the product must be established and bounded. For example, if we wish to develop accounting system for an organization, we must understand working of the system, problems in the existing system and particular areas which will be covered by the project. The software process is a chain of activities undertaken during the phases of definition, development and support of software system. The problem is to select the process model that is appropriate for the software to be engineered by a project team. There are several approaches to software development process. These are also referred to as software engineering paradigms or models. If you recall, a few of them are the linear sequential model, the prototyping model, the RAD model, the incremental model, the spiral model, the concurrent development model. After choosing the model, a complete plan must be created. That plan should reflect the work tasks required to complete the framework activities. In order to manage successful software project, the manager must understand the problem and its possible solutions. A few of the most common problems are Number 1 Software people do not understand their customers' needs. Number 2 The product scope is poorly defined. Number 3 Changes are managed poorly. Number 4 the chosen technology changes. Number 5. Business needs change or these are ill-defined. Number 6. Deadlines are unrealistic. Number 7. Users are resistant. Number 8. Sponsorship is lost or it has not been properly obtained. And number nine, the project team lacks people with appropriate skills. To avoid these problems, carefully define objective. Maintain momentum, that is, keep yourself working at the defined speed so as to finish work. Track progress, that is, to check whether tasks are completed at the defined time. Make quick and rational decisions. In order successful software project, the manager must understand the problem and its possible solutions. A few of the most common problems are Number 1 Software people do not understand their customers' needs. Number 2. The product scope is poorly defined. Number 3. Changes are managed poorly. Number 4. The chosen technology changes. Number 5. Business needs change or these are ill-defined. Number 6. Deadlines are unrealistic. Number 7. 
users are resistant. Number 8. Sponsorship is lost or it has not been properly obtained. And number 9. The project team lacks people with appropriate skills. To avoid these problems, carefully define objective. Maintain momentum, that is, keep yourself working at the defined speed so as to finish work. Track progress, that is, to check whether tasks are completed at the defined time. Make quick and rational decisions. Conduct a performa analysis, that is, list down all the factors for high performance and check whether you are fulfilling all the statements or not and then grade yourself. Let's discuss some of the project management techniques. We start our discussion from the W5HH principle. A very famous project management technique proposed by Bohem is W5HH principle that answers following questions. Why is the system being developed? What will be done? By when? Who is responsible for a function? Where are they organizationally located? How will the job be done technically and managerially? How much of each resource is needed? This principle is applicable to almost all types of software projects regardless of their size or complexity. We will discuss performance-based management techniques. The Airline Council, that is a team of software engineering experts chartered by the U.S. Department of Defense, has developed a list of critical software practices for performance-based management. These practices are Formal Risk Management Empirical Cost and Schedule Estimation Metric-based project management Earned value tracking Defect tracking against quality targets People-aware program management Formal risk management A risk is an unwanted event that has negative consequences. Risk management includes identifying the most likely risks in the project, determining the chance of each risk to become a problem, and to determine the effect of that problem on the project. The risk may be high turnover rate, lack of time for the completion of project, development of wrong user interface, etc. Empirical cost and schedule estimation. It involves estimating the size of the software to be developed, the procedure to be used to develop the software, and preparing a schedule to develop the software. Cost will be easily calculated if size of the software to be developed is known and a proper schedule is developed. Metric-based project management It means organizing the process in such a way that the evolving problems can be easily identified and necessary steps can be taken. 
For example, you develop a CD using Flash. In the meanwhile, a new technology emerges. Metric-based project management demands that you should have an idea of the emerging technology before its introduction in the market and you should develop your CD in such a way that after making a few changes you could adopt the new technology. Earned Value Tracking It includes assigning weights to represent what percent of the total process each step constitutes relative to the overall effort. Each component is assigned a value that represents its proportion of the total product so the progress relative to the final size can be easily tracked. Then an earned value summary chart similar to figure shown is prepared to be discussed in review meeting. Defect tracking against quality targets. It includes tracking and periodically reporting the number of defects found by each inspection and execution test from program beginning and the number of defects currently closed and open. People Aware Program Management It includes dealing with the persons involved in the development of software in such a way that their turnover rate should be low. Employee involvement must be ensured by giving them authority, responsibility, recognition 